Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Epstein, director of the Mercy Center for Corrective Eye Surgery. If you're watching this video, you probably have keratoconus or know someone who suffers from that eye condition. Keratoconus is a disease of progressive degeneration of the cornea or front wall of the eye. People often in the prime of life suffer progressive visual loss, the need for increasingly thick and expensive eyeglasses that do not fully correct the vision, leaving the user seeing the world increasingly as a blur. Soft lenses and then hard lenses are needed to correct vision, and those become painful and difficult to wear and ineffective. Corneal transplant with a very long healing period, the chance of rejection and eye injury, and typically still the need to wear contact lenses has been the result of those fortunate enough to live in the developed world. Contact lenses do nothing to stop the progression of keratoconus, in fact may even delay the diagnosis. And the disease can progress even after cornea transplant. Recently, through the genius of a Swiss doctor, Theo Seiler, an office treatment called collagen crosslinking with riboflavin and ultraviolet light was developed. It has been done in Europe for several years and it is not yet FDA approved in the United States. Our center has an FDA monitored clinical trial of crosslinking and over the past several years we have done crosslinking for many, many people and I have reported our results and they appear in medical journals. I can tell you that crosslinking works. But in the vast majority of the cases, crosslinking does not do more than stop the progress of the disease. And people are still left with the disease and the damage from the disease that already has occurred. Fortunately, through the brilliance of a South American doctor, Jose Ignacio Baraquer, and more recently, through the creative genius of a Dutch doctor, Garrett Mellis, there is now a procedure we offer to help reshape the cornea and to improve the vision on that long path toward normalizing the eyes after keratoconus. The procedure is called Bowman Layer Transplant, or BLT. It is not a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. However, it is kind of a sandwich, and I'll go over that in a moment. Here is a diagram of the normal cornea and the keratoconus cornea. On your left, we have the cornea in its normal state. Normal thickness, normal curvature. On the right, we have the abnormal thinned and irregular cornea. In the first step of the new procedure, a LASIK flap or lamellar flap is created on the diseased cornea. Previously, a disc of corneal material has been created with a femtosecond laser very, very accurately to specifications to the nearest one thousandth of a millimeter. This disc is processed in the operating room as well and then laid on the bed underneath the open flap. In the final steps of the procedure, the flap is closed and fixated. This has the effect of regularizing and making less conical the cornea with keratoconus. And this is for the improvement of vision. Now I can 
vouch for the long-term effectiveness of this procedure because actually I trained with Dr. Barakir and was doing the original procedure that he devised over two decades ago. About five or six years ago, his procedure was repurposed and it was repurposed for the correction of nearsightedness beyond the range of LASIK. Here is an old brochure from our center describing the procedure called CLEARS, corneal lens eczema assisted refractive surgery. And you can see the details and they look a lot like the BLT procedure but in this procedure there's a third step of laser correction. Of course this is for the normal cornea. In this procedure we are able to correct higher degrees of nearsightedness than are possible with LASIK because we are adding tissue and then applying the laser only to the graft tissue. A living contact lens shaped on the eye. This same idea has now been used for the Bowman layer transplant. I invite you to request information to see if this may be helpful to you. Along with collagen cross-linking, the BLT procedure becomes one of the keratoconus treatment options along with the other available procedures such as the Intax procedure and of course the use of contact lenses as may be needed. I hope this information has been helpful to you. Again, I am Dr. Bob Epstein, Director of the Mercy Center for Corrective Eye Surgery in McHenry, Illinois. Our number is 1-800-I-CAN-SEE, that's I-C-A-N-S-E-E. -E. And our website is www.icansee.com. Thank you for listening.